Feels Darkman Crayon Time. Autism Spectrum. I am most definitely on the spectrum, but I think we all are. No? Isn't that the whole point of a spectrum? Everyone's on it, just that the question is where you are, right? If this is the spectrum, right? A and this is like, um... Over here is like your average bloke. And then over here is like maximum, like, crayon eating mode or whatever. It's not crayon eating, but you know what I'm saying. I, I, I think I'm probably like here. I prefer to do things with others rather than on my own. I don't know, it depends on the thing, but I'll say slightly disagree. I prefer to do things the same way over and over again, slightly agree. I, if I try to imagine something, I find it very easy to create a picture in my mind. Slightly agree, depends on what I'm imagining. I hate when you just answer slightly, but... I frequently get strongly absorbed in one thing that I lose sight of other things. Slightly agree, I get easily obsessed with things, but I don't think I lose sight of things. I often notice small sounds when others do not. Definitely disagree, I'm deaf. Definitely disagree. I often... I usually notice car number plates or similar strings of information. Bro, I could condense this formula, like, form into one question. I have autism. Definitely agree or definitely disagree. That's all you're answering here. No, I don't think I notice car number plates all that much. Like, you should... I mean, definitely disagree seems so strong. It's not like I don't ever look at a license plate. I don't know what to answer here. I guess we go here again. Other people frequently tell me that what I've said is impolite, even though I think it is polite. No. No. When I'm reading a story, I can easily imagine what the characters look like. I'd say so. Yeah, I usually get a picture in my head of them. I am fascinated by dates. <laughs> no. No, I don't think I'm fascinated by dates. In a social group, I can easily keep track of several people's conversations. I don't know. This one is like, I'm like neutral. I don't know. I find social situations easy. Uh, yeah, I think so. I don't think I'm very handicapped. I don't necessarily thrive in social situations, but I don't think I do a bad job when I find myself in, in them. That's the thing. So I, I describe myself as a social introvert. I tend to notice details that others do not. Sure. Yes, actually. Well, this also depends, though. Doesn't this completely depend? I feel like so many of these depend. Okay, because, like, uh, maybe I'm watching a movie with Yabba and I think of the visual effects or the set design or something that she might not notice. But then Yabba can turn to me and she can be like, wow, that girl's makeup is really bad. And I'll be like, oh, I didn't think about that. So how do I even answer a question like this, you know? I don't know. Don't we all sometimes? I would rather go to a library than a party. Depends on the party, right? Depends on the party. Is this a party where I'm a friend of a friend and I know no one there? And I'm hungover from the day before? Or is this like a small get-together with a bunch of close friends? Whatever. I find making up stories easy? I think so. I find myself drawn more strongly to people than to things. No, probably, <laughs> probably not. I like stuff. I tend to have strong, very strong interests, which I get upset if I can't pursue, probably. I enjoy social chit-chat. No. Uh, no. When I talk, it isn't always easy for others to get a word in edgewise. Maybe sometimes. No, I used... Mm, chat? Would you think? Would you say it's hard for you to get in edgewise when I'm talking? Actually, I don't care. Let's keep on going. <laughs> okay, that was a joke. That was a joke. Yes. Okay, well, I went there. I am fascinated by numbers. No. When I'm reading a story, I find it difficult to work out the character's intentions? No. I don't particularly enjoy reading fiction? No. I find it hard to make new friends? No, I wouldn't say so. I notice patterns in things all the time. No. I would rather go to the theater than a museum. Yes. It does not upset me if my daily routine is disturbed? <laughs> Definitely disagree. I frequently find that I don't know how to keep a conversation going. I disagree. I find it easy to read between the lines when someone's talking to me. Maybe not. I usually concentrate more on the whole picture than rather on the small details. That is too way too broad of a question. That is, I don't fucking know, man. I think I disagree with it, though. I think oftentimes I get stressed out from all the small details and I think of all of them. I'm not very good at remembering phone numbers. I'm not great, but I'm not bad. Liar, dude. Okay. I don't usually notice small changes in a situation or a person's appearance. Um, I don't know. Probably not. I can't. I know. No, I think I do notice. I know how to tell if someone is listening to me is getting bored. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I find it easy to do more than one thing at once. Nah, it sort of stresses me out a bit. When I talk on the phone, I'm not sure when it's my turn to speak. 
Uh, I, I disagree with that. I enjoy doing things spontaneously. No, I prefer pre-planned things, but... I am often the last to understand the point of a joke. No, I love jokes. I find it easy to work out what someone is thinking or feeling just by looking at their face. Sort of. If there's an interruption, I can switch back to what I was doing very quickly. Do we know? Are you guys answering for me? Gabba says yes. I am good at social chit chat. I actually, I think I am, but I don't really enjoy it. But when I gotta do it, I think I'm pretty good at coming up with topics to talk about. Small talk. I don't like small talk, but I don't think I'm bad at it. People often tell me that I keep going on and on <laughs> about the same thing. Okay, this is definitely me. Forsen, football, the Beatles, or whatever thing I'm into that particular half year. When I was young, I used to enjoy playing games involving pretending with other children. Played all sorts of shit. I mostly remember uh, running around in the woods and throwing sticks at each other. I mean, we were sort of pretending to have a war. I would say... I didn't and mind doing them. Don't go here. I like to collect information about categories of things. Like types of cars, birds, trains, or plants. <laughs> Man, these questions are so like on the nose. No, this is not me though. Um, I find it difficult to imagine what it would be like to be someone else. No, I don't think so. If I, I like to carefully plan any activities I participate in, that's sort of true. I enjoy social occasions, depend on the occasion. I'd like to go fully neutral on this one, but I will lean towards that I enjoy it more than I dis don't enjoy it. I find it difficult to work out people's intentions. Didn't we already have this? New situations make me anxious. That can be sort of true. I enjoy meeting new people. Not really. I prefer meeting the people I already know. I am a good diplomat. Sort of, maybe. I am not very good at remembering people's date of birth. What's, what's like, being bad at this? How bad are you? I don't know. This is, this question is so hard for me without any sort of reference. How many birthdays do you guys remember? Like, could you name every single family member's birth? <clears throat> you collect info about football accounts. Nah, that's not a category of thing. You don't know your father's birthday? I could tell you both my parents' birthdays. I could tell you the years my siblings are born. Um, and the month? I might be insecure about like one or two of the days. Yab I know Yabe's birthday. Partially because I worked it into a pun. I asked Yaba what her birthday was. She said March 4th. So I took a step forward and asked her again. <laughs> That's my very own pun. I worked it from a different one. That's, uh, it's a bit different. It's, um, I asked my wife what her birthday was and she said March 1st. So I walked around for a bit and then asked her again. I almost think mine is better. If you're not fascinated by dates, why is your intro about talking about what happened on this day X years ago? That's got nothing to do with a date. But it, if you want to make it into an autism thing, then um, I like routines a lot. So it's got to do with me liking routines. So that's sort of an autism thing, but it's not the date itself. I like starting my stream in the same way almost every time. I like my weekly shows, my news network and stuff. I like having those routines. I'm not very good at remembering people's date of birth. So I would say that's probably mostly false then. I don't think I was spectacular at it, but not bad. I find it very easy to play games with children that I love involve, that involve pretending. My niece, I, I find it easy to play like uh, with my nieces, but not necessarily pretending, I don't know. I just make funny faces or chase them around the house or some shit. Santa, okay, that is true. I, I have been Santa for them, but I don't actually enjoy doing that. Whatever. 22 out of 55. Scores in the 0 to 25 range indicate few or no autistic traits. See? This, pr this pr sort of sign li lines up with uh, the drawing I did, right? You got 46 out of 50? 